How's it? Welcome along to Bezos Garage. Today, we're going to have a little bit of a chat about gearing for your mower. So you can try and match the gearing to the motor and maybe to the sort of thing that you like, whether you like faster acceleration or higher top speed. And sometimes that depends on track. Um, but um, yeah, we'll come over this mower over here and we'll show you what we're sort of talking about. So, so this is running a single cylinder engine. Um, and we're running a smaller pulley through to a bigger pulley. Now this has a peerless right angle drive, and the peerless right angle drive is a one to one ratio. Okay, so with this particular mower, um, we're running approximately, or we just measure across the pulley just to give us a guide. It's about 105 there, and it's about uh, oh, nearly 200 there. Okay. So what I try and do with, with, with mowers that are running um, peerless gearboxes, the right angle drives, is I go for a two to one ratio underneath here. Um, you can change them depending on uh, what sort of speed you end up with, but um, I generally go two to one. Now the other thing to remember is this is a single cylinder. So single cylinders don't rev as well as a V-twin. So a V-twin ratio, generally you want to rev the engine a bit more than you do for a single. The singles have more torque, the, um, the twins are a bit quicker, uh, like they the rev up quicker, but they haven't got as much low down torque. So, um, right, so now that I've shown you how that works, we'll come over here to my blue mower and we'll do a calculation for this one. And then I'll prove to you that the calculation actually works and then you can work out what you need to do for your mower. So I've drawn a little diagram here, which hopefully you can understand. So at the moment on the blue mower that we just showed you, I have an engine pulley of 110 millimeters. I've got a pulley that's on the back going into the right angle drive, which is 230 millimeters. So to get the ratio of those two, I take the 230, divide it by 110, and I equal 2.09, okay? So that's the ratio for the engine to the gearbox. Then, because the gearbox is one to one, we don't actually have to worry about that. It's not gonna change the ratio at all. And then on the back, we've got the right angle drive. We've got 14 tooth on here, coming through to 53 tooth on here. So we take the 53 and we divide it by 14 and we equal 3.78. So that's the ratio of turns on this one. So then what we have to do is we have to times the two together. You don't add them, you times them. So 2.09 times 3.78 gives us 7.9 to 1. And what that's telling us is that one turn of the engine gives us approximately eight turns of the rear wheel. Okay, so to prove that we're right, if we come over to the mower here, what we've done is we have the flywheel and we put a white mark on it and we put a white mark on the cover. And then on the wheel here, we've got a white mark on the wheel and a white mark on the guard. So at the moment, all these marks are aligned. The clutch is uh, engaged, so I need to disengage the clutch so that we can push it to turn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of turns on this till we get one turn on that. Now effectively it should be 7.9 or 8 to 1. So let's see what we end up with. So I'll turn this around now. So we've got one turn, two turns. Three turns, four turns, five, six, seven, so we're coming around to the last turn, so hopefully we're getting pretty close on there, so that's pretty hard to see, but that's about, it's about right, so yeah, so we're pretty close with our 7.9 to one ratio okay so you can see that that's that's pretty good now if if this ratio wasn't right so in other words if i felt like um it was too slow out of the corners uh but it had a really high top speed i'd need to change it so what i'm going to do is this at the moment is 7.9 if i'm happy with that i would leave it but if i want to be faster out of the corners but have less top speed what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a higher number. So I'm going to make it 8.5. So it means the engine's spinning faster 
than it was before. So we're going to get out of the corner quicker, but we're not going to have the same top speed. To make it go faster, we want the number to be lower, so we want it to be 7.5. So the engine will 7.5 turns to the turn at the back. So what it'll end up meaning is that the lower the RPM, but the rear one's going faster, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to go faster on the track. Um, now, if you are running a, uh, a gearbox that has a uh, 1 to 1 to 1.9 or 1 to 1.9 ratio in your transfer case, the only thing you have to do is when you times them all together, when we had the gearbox in the centre, you just put the 1.9 in there, and then you times all three together, and it will give you the ratio you need, okay? So you want to be aware of that, and you'll obviously have to have different size pulleys underneath the engine to make it work. So um, effectively, that's what we talked about gearing. That should be all we need to know for today. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, it'll give you a ballpark figure to start with. Generally, we say eight to one is a good place to start, uh, and then play with your engine and the way you drive from there. Um, and um, yeah, until next time, Baz's Garage.